When blood sugar is high, insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas to reduce the blood glucose levels. The dawn phenomenon is an increase in blood glucose levels in the morning and is seen in diabetic patients. It happens in individuals with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. There are hormones involved here which may promote the elevation of glucose levels in the morning, such as cortisol, which has an increased secretion at around 4 to 8 a.m. in the morning, and growth hormone is also secreted while you're sleeping. Both of these two hormones help to increase glucose levels. This natural increase in blood glucose levels occurs in everyone, as it can give the body a boost of energy in the morning. So in non-diabetic patients, blood glucose levels in the morning does increase, however the glucose levels are contained within the normal range by the action of insulin. If you have diabetes, you may be producing too little insulin, or you may have insulin resistance, so your body doesn't respond to this glucose very well. Therefore, the blood glucose will remain high when you wake up in the morning. So that's the dawn phenomenon, and in diabetic patients, it can become problematic over time, especially as if it's uncontrolled, it may lead to an increase in A1C levels. Diabetic patients should be having their A1C levels monitored routinely, as if it's left uncontrolled, there's a high risk of diabetes complications like kidney damage and heart disease. So to monitor this, I would advise checking your blood glucose levels before you sleep at around 3 a.m. in the morning and the first thing when you wake up, as this will give you an accurate idea of your blood sugar at different times. So some things to help reduce the high blood glucose levels in the morning is exercising in the evening before, avoiding high carbohydrate meals before you sleep, and if you're taking diabetes medication, discussing with your doctor about dose timing. I would ensure that you make the lifestyle changes first, and if this doesn't work, discuss with your doctor about your findings. The last thing I'm going to talk about is something called the Samogi effect. It's another theory behind high blood glucose levels in the morning, but the reason it's said to occur is because when you're sleeping, because the theory is when you're sleeping, your body becomes hypoglycemic with low blood glucose levels, which triggers your body to release additional glucose in response. And that's the reason why you wake up in the morning with high blood glucose. It's said to occur if you take too much insulin or diabetes medication before you sleep and if you don't eat enough. The Samogi effect is not fully agreed with by some scientists as they believe the dawn phenomenon is more likely to be the cause of high blood glucose in the morning. But the way to rule out the Samogi effect is by measuring your blood glucose levels in the middle of the night, so wake up specifically to check it, and if it's low then you may be experiencing the Samogi effect.